Like, bro, why do we need to know this? Why are you posting this on Instagram? You need to go to the source, call them, talk to them, go to your ex's house. Why Why do we need to know? What the fuck is the public going to do? Nah, they need to know, fam. Nigga, why? For what? What the fuck am I going to do? You want me to go in Calabasas and, and whoop some ass? Like, the fuck am I going to do? This Me knowing this means nothing to me. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy YTV and we are back again with another video. Today we have a topic video. Today we are talking about Kanye West. Ah, yay himself, man. So for those of you who do not know, um, on September 1st, uh, Ye went on another Instagram rant. And he has he said a lot of things and a lot of people are calling him crazy. So Today we are going to talk about, we're going to see if he's really crazy. Now, I took it upon myself to basically, you know, screenshot every post that he posted on Instagram at that time because I knew what he was going to do. He, he always posts some shit and then he deletes it. It's funny. He always talks about, I just find it really ironic how he always talks about like standing up to people and like standing in his own shit and telling his truth and blah 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 but every time he tells it, every time he says something like this every time he goes on one of these rants he deletes everything like why leave it up there for the people to see if that's how you feel leave it up there don't be a bitch but anyway like i said i took it upon myself to screenshot all of these so we are going to look at each and one of these screenshots and we are going to discuss all right before we actually get into the video please do not forget to share like and subscribe it really helps me out with the channel and i appreciate it as always and follow me on instagram and twitter at watch tv 94 now without further ado let's start talking about these damn pictures all right so this is text number one that i took it upon myself to screenshot that yay posted and in the message you can see at the very top i don't know who he's text messaging probably kim it says can you please stop he says no we need to talk in person you don't have say so of where the kids go to school why you get say so which i assume that he said because you half white what <laughs> okay like i'm don't get me wrong like i'm i'm with yay all right I'm, I'm i'm with him on this like yes he most definitely gets say so in where his children go to school like i it's co-parenting should be 50 50 i wholeheartedly believe that but what the fuck does that have what does that have to do with her being half white is she is he saying oh why do you get to make the, the decisions because you white and i'm confused you love white people you love white people you love donald trump elon i mean and you married her which what are you saying you love come on you love white people remember i'm so confused here okay but yes i'm i don't disagree with yay on this point right here like he most definitely deserves a right to have some sort of say of where his children go to school let's go to the next one okay i'm assuming this is fr from kim so she says from my mom please tell him to please stop mentioning my name i'm almost 67 years old and i don't always feel great and this stresses me to no end he replies, y'all don't have say so over my black children and where they go to school. They will not do Playboy and sex tapes. What? Tell your Clinton friends to come get me. I'm here. Kanye has this knack of, of saying things that like are very truthful and that makes sense. But he always says like one last thing that just fucks it all up. Like I, I, I don't understand the tell your Clinton friends to come get me. What the fuck does that even mean? And also, what does Playboy and sex tapes have to do with his child? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might see. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, hold on. Kanye might be on to something. Ye might be on to something because I'm, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing how he thinks. Hold up. So is he saying, like, this is gonna set a precedent for for the future? Because like, is was he upset that um that that chris which is kim kardashian's mom talked kim into doing playboy into releasing like the sex tape it is he saying that he does not want that type of influence over his children because if that's the case i 1000 percent get it because i do not want my children to have a sex tape or to do playboy as well like i i get that 
I wouldn't want them to do that. Um, so it sounds like he's basically saying it without saying it, that he just doesn't want Chris's like influence on his kids, which I would agree. A lot of you guys do not understand. Chris Jenner is the fucking mastermind behind the Kardashians, okay? Everything is... I do not know this woman personally, obviously, but everything is money to her. Like, everything is opportunities, exposure, money, 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 money. All that. Like, Kris Jenner is the true mastermind, but like, behind the whole Kardashian, like, dynasty or whatever. It's it's her. It's her. So, I kind of understand where, where Ye is, 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 coming, is coming with this. Now, at the same time... Did Chris even have a say so in, in in whether his kids like where they were going to school or not? That I don't know, and I don't know why she would have a say so anyway. Now I will say that when it comes to their life decision, their mom, their mom, it, she is very very much involved. But I don't know if that's the case, so I don't even know why, like that was brought up. I don't know. But also, you married Kim Kardashian, stupid. You knew she did Playboy. You knew she had a sex tape out there, but you decided to marry into that. You don't get to complain. You don't. That that's stupid as hell. That is dumb. You married her. You decided to to marry into this family. You wanted this. You said you wanted Kim for a long time. They will not do Playboy and sex tapes, nigga. Your your ex wife did it, and you loved her. If you didn't like that and you weren't rocking with that, then why the hell did you marry her and have kids with her, stupid? Anyway, I don't know. Oh, dog, this one made me howl, bro. I was fucking dead. This this post says Tristan, Trav, and Scott. And <laughs> in the caption, it says, calling my fellow cum donors. We in this together. <laughs> All right. I kind of agree with him on this, too. I'm just... I'm just saying, okay, well, maybe less in Tristan's, like, standpoint, because let's be honest here, Tristan Thompson is, is, is he, he, he's a piece of shit, he's a piece of shit at this point, like, he does not care about Chloe at all, this man will willingly, openly go in public and hold hands with some other chick when him and Chloe are, were supposedly, like, dating or trying to work on things or whatever, and Chloe's just as stupid because she's allowing it, but that's neither here nor there, um, the Kardashians, especially in Courtney's case, it seems like she had all those kids with Scott and Scott wanted to marry this woman and they just never did. Now, I do not I did not know or I still don't know the inner workings of their relationship. There's no way that I will know. But I feel like I think that's how Scott feels, too, especially since she married Travis Barker. She's like, damn, you didn't want him. You had all these kids with me, but you married someone else. You basically used me to have like good looking children hey i i don't i don't know i don't know and maybe maybe yay is referring to himself as like uh <laughs> as 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 a as a cum donor because his wife wasn't willing to work on their marriage but i don't know i mean maybe there there is a theme of of divorce and throwing their partners to the side i like i said i don't know the inner workings of any of these relationships um but yeah i don't know I, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave that one alone. I just thought that was really funny. But to a certain extent, eh, I agree, especially on Courtney's side. This one says Sierra Canyon Gap Adidas. Okay. I He always does the same. This is a pattern, bro. Whenever Kanye has some family shit going on or whatever, he always bring bus his businesses into it. Like, he always bring his business ventures, like, into the argument. Like, the same time while he's talking about these issues with his family, he always starts talking about these corporations. And it's the weirdest shit ever. Like, the two do not correlate, bro. Like, what are you even talking about? The fuck the Sierra... Well, Sierra Kane, yes, I, I get it. Yes, you know, you don't want your, your children to go there because you don't have a say-so. Cool, whatever. But what the fuck do Gap and Adidas have to do with Sierra Canyon and, and your children? That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, if anybody else can link the three together, please let me know.
anybody that says I'm spiraling when I express the undeniable truths is a sheep. Shut the fuck up and worry about your own kids. I obviously am dealing with wars at the highest level of control and discrimination based on the level I'm opening at. A uh, conductor gotta turn they back to the audience to direct the orchestra. Oh, yay crazy is basic as fuck at this point. I'm simply right... Wait, what? I'm simply right. I know girls who sell pussy that don't agree with how my daughters are being displayed. All right, I I would love for him to explain the discrimination aspect. Like I There's that and also he said that saying oh yay crazy is basic is basic as fuck at this point. I'm simply right. I know girls who sell pussies that that don't who sell that sell pussy that don't agree with how my daughters are being displayed okay all right okay wait all right all right give, give me a second it's coming it's coming i'm trying to get into the mind of, of of kanye west give 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 me a second or when you mention that are you talking about like the way that your kids are being like photoshopped into pictures and just photoshopped in general in in that aspect because i've seen pictures of his kids it's not like they're like nude or anything or have like lewd clothing on or anything like that but in that aspect that would make sense because i wouldn't fuck with that shit either if you would you were to constantly like photoshop my kids and give them give them this weird ass like social media complex so early because <clears throat> like i i get it i don't want that either if he's talking about that in that instance like i i get it and i agree like I do not, I wouldn't want them to be brought up in that kind of light either, where they have to look a certain way on social media. Like they have, they have to get surgery because their parents did it. Like they have to do this, they have to do that. Like I, to that extent, I get it. Um, like I really do get it. But here's the thing, yay, people, people are saying you're crazy, not necessarily because of what you're saying. Maybe it has a little to do with that. But it's mostly of like how you say it and how you're communicating with your family. Like, bro, why do we need to know this? Why are you posting this on Instagram? You need to go to the source, call them, talk to them, go to your ex's house. Why Why do we need to know? What the fuck is the public gonna do? Nah, they need to know, fam. Nigga, why? For what? What the fuck am I gonna do? You want me to go in Calabasas and, and whoop some ass? Like the fuck am I gonna do? This me knowing this means nothing to me. So this is the fact that you post these things and go on these rants, that shit makes you look crazy. Alright? Alright? I was driven crazy before. I'm not going crazy no more. It's not up to Calabasas or Hulu where my kids go to school. Okay. I'm not the crazy one here. It's up. If this nigga say it's up one more time, I promise you I'm gonna find Yay myself and punch him right in the throat. Stop saying that. It's not cool anymore. Shut up. Shut up. It's cringe, bro. Hey, yeah, man, it's up. Shut the f shut up. I won't stop until I have a say so on my kids, no matter what it legally takes. Okay, cool. That's fine. Honestly, it would probably be better to go the legal route anyway. And going on these rants is not helping you like make a good case online. Like they're going to use these rants against you so that you don't get these kids if you do go to if you do go to court. So this all looks bad on you. This all should be done behind the scenes, bro. Like you are making yourself look bad because eventually you might want to take it to court. You should take it to court so that things can be done civilly. People take these type of situations to court because there's a third party that can work this shit out civilly when the two parents cannot. That's what court is for. So why don't you go that avenue? But the thing is, if you go that avenue now, they're going to use these pictures against you. So you pretty much screwed yourself at this point. <laughs> I thought this one was kind of clever. Trav is Scott. I, I I thought that was that that was pretty clever. I'm, I'm not going to hold you. In the caption, this says, these are my brothers. I'm only one I ever see. Spell check, yay. Spell check. These are my brothers. I'm only one I ever seen stand up to Chris, though. Come fight me. I love paint. Chris is 67 years old. She does not want to fight you, bro. Leave that old ass woman alone. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Today is about control. My kids, Yeezy, Adida, uh, Yeezy Gap. It's up on all three of these issues all at the same time. Why? Why, though? It's always those three at the same time. Always. 
because it's all the same mentally that makes these people feel they can keep getting away with things. I'm, bro, getting. A... All right, your business is your business, dog. Your business is your business. I get it. If you feel that. Yeah, Yeezy and, and Gap are, are screwing you in some ways and in a lot of ways I, I've seen it and I agree but what the fuck what is the correlation between them and, and your kids talk about that shit another time like that's stupid that, that doesn't make any sense to me then he posts another one that says I'm the kid's father and in the caption he says imagine not having any say so on where your kids go to school bro I get it and, and again I agree but I don't know what to tell you at this point, bro. You kind of fucked yourself. I would say take him to court, but that's pretty much a lost cause at this point. Ask Pete how th those tattoos of my kids doing in the trauma unit. Ooh. <laughs> hey, yo, I saw that one and I was like, I, I, I can't even be mad at, at, at Ye for that one. Because what kind of sick dude is going to get your kids like tattooed on him when he doesn't e he hasn't even known them for a year? Like, bro, it hasn't even been a year. That shit is, that's weird. That's weird as fuck. Like, and if you're doing that just to, like, spite the father, you're even weirder, bro. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I was, I was okay with Pete until he did that shit. And I'm like, all right, you, you wildin'. Like, you really are. That's, that's just weird. I would never do that. Who, let me know in the comments down below. Is that normal behavior to you? Because that shit is just weird. I, I, I don't know. But all right. That's it of the screenshots, and like I said before, he deleted everything like he always does because he talks a big talk, but he always has people that convince him to take the shit down. So it's kind of, kind of a pussy, in, you know, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think it? Do you think Ye is as crazy as people, you know, as people think? Or do you think he is justified in these rants and in these messages? Or do you think all of this shit should be done behind the scenes or legally? I, I don't know. Please do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, <clears throat> and again, please do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And yeah, man. It's your boy YCV, and I'm out. Peace.